I'm going to record this thing because uh, Andy um, is uh, not able to attend. And uh, Sophia, I know, is uh, um, trying to, is going to try to join, but I think she may have a conflict also. So at any rate, um, welcome everyone. And um, I wanted to, our, well, our goal today is to, in this meeting, is to fine tune our abstract, which we need to submit by midnight tonight. Is that <laughs> is that a fair goal for the meeting, Jing? Yes, okay, I believe so. Good. good. Um, and then if we have time, we'll review the PowerPoint that <laughs> Jing is putting together. <laughs> And um, uh, should be 30, 40 minutes max meeting. I wanted to just start by um, showing everyone the um, a picture of the conference, the Universal Village Conference. I think this was in 2000, oh, 2014, so quite a few years ago. But um, there were about 50, maybe 10 presenters around the table and their presentations were all research papers full of charts and graphs and tables and diagrams that nobody could understand, um, but they were presenting their research. Um, and then our team came up and presented uh, Build It Yourself, you know, wearing costumes and with all sorts of uh, displays interactive displays that the audience, we passed around the audience. And at the end of the conference um, or this session, the minister of education came up and wanted to take his picture with his new heroes, with his arms around his new heroes. So this is just symbolic in my mind of one way that Build It Yourself differentiates itself from many, many other programs. Uh, when we go to a career fair at MIT or Cornell, we often see as many people lined up in front of the Build It Yourself booth as there are in front of the Apple or Google booths and um, or other engineering booths. And that's primarily because when we ask uh, students why they come to our booth, they say, well, just because it looks fun. And I think, Jing, you've captured that really well in your PowerPoint. So I just wanted to make this a lead into to your PowerPoint. So what if we start with your PowerPoint? Or actually, let me do it because I made a few edits to the PowerPoint. So I'll just start. Uh, and then you tell me when to advance the page. So I started, uh, I just put a upfront page for our own internal notes to remind us what our conference goals are. And they are number one, to give uh, Rodrigo and Andy and Sophia uh, an experience that could be useful in a, in a college application. And our second goal is to network through the researchers to their corporate sponsors, okay? And I think we've set a guideline. We have 15 minutes to talk and five minutes to answer questions roughly. So if we have four people uh, and everyone talks for three, three and a half minutes, uh, we should fit under the 15 minute limit. Okay. So take it away, Jing. Um, actually, I intend to speak at, at three minutes at the most. I want to give the kids more time to present their work. Okay. Um, yeah, it's only a cap. And uh, Actually, I didn't prepare the script uh, very much yet, but um, I'll just go with uh, what I told John about this um, before. Um, this cap uh, should be about um, how um, Build It Yourself view education um, to the kids age from the from eighteen to, uh, to from eight to thirteen, and uh, I think uh, I use this. Um, 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 I, I use this um, abstract very um, well. It, it, it covered all the attributes um, that um, um, Beauty to Yourself has. And as in techniques, we apply um, 
storylines. And here are the three main storylines that we have and in all the figures that go with it. And uh, all the other, um, the some of the examples that I have uh, from the previous work of, of, of the students. And uh, I, here I mentioned the tools that we will apply. And uh, later I added the, the Lego Mindstorm thing too. Okay. And uh, also we like to make connections, connections between those virtual computer skills to actual hands-on skills. Also that's we emphasize, what do we emphasize? Because um, when virtual science, uh, reality has a connection with actual reality, it makes sense. And uh, we emphasize that in the education of the student to the students. Um, um, so we brought this idea up and uh, showed them how we do well in the uh, actual hand hands on um, projects, how they how they are interested in this. And uh, in the third part, and also we have those um, products as uh, toolboxes, which is also very unique, I guess. And uh, this uh, the the next part is the community um, concept that we're gonna stress too, because um, uh, this is this program is a content to be a long time thing. It nurtures the growth of children from a very young age to a comparatively mature age, and some of you may get involved into this program maybe longer, um, all the way through college and maybe even even older. You can work here as a as a teaching assistant, maybe. It's like a compa companionship um, to growth. It's 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 really great. It makes sense, and it's um, and also you, as as much you as um as you involved in this program, you make friends here, and it's also a big treasure to life. Um, this is the three points that I'm gonna stress um right. about. Yeah, Great. why? Great. Uh, before I comment, Rodrigo, what's your take <laughs> on Jing's introduction to Build It Yourself? Does it conform with your experience at Build It Yourself? Or is there something you would add or change to what yes, uh, Jing said? Any thoughts, Rodrigo? Our audience mm -hmm. are researchers who are uh, interested in technologies for cities of the future. That's who we're talking to. Well, I think it's pretty good. I'm, I don't really have any comments. I'm sorry, say again, you, you cut out a little bit, Rodrigo. No, it, it is pretty good. I don't really have any comments. Uh, okay. Most of what Billy Jarsol is in is shown. What were your most memorable experiences at Billy Yourself, Rodrigo? Probably the soapbox racers or the Minecraft project. And why? <laughs> and like um well because we work together. Um Mm -hmm. The students. Great. Yeah. It was a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. In work. Great. Okay. Um, so, Jing, I think this fits in very well with the conference theme. That is, what technologies does the next generation, <laughs> how do we need to train the next generation? Mm -hmm. um, a post pandemic. Um, and uh, I also think that it um, it comes across as unique because it's playful. So I, I, I think you. Uh, yeah, playful. I, I got to stress that. Great. Playful, collaborative, and incorporating technology of the future, i.e., how does the metaverse fit in the real world? Hmm. Great. So I think uh, those are three key points. I like that there's kind of a triplet. If we focus on three points, the audience can remember three points. If we present six points, they'll forget <laughs> all six points, right? <laughs> it is. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. So I was 
imagining that after Jing speaks for three minutes, that Sophia will talk about the projects that she's built. Um, one of the first projects that Sophia built was um, she learned how to draw graffiti and she uh, got so good at it that she, um, she made graffiti signs for her friends, the names of her friends, and she sold them for five pesos each at school. So she turned it into like a lemonade stand business. And then she told me that her other favorite projects were alarm clocks and uh, an alarm clock that woke you up with a smile on your face and um, 3D graphics that bring you from the 2D world into the 3D world. Um, and then Rodrigo, I thought we'd pass the ball to you. And um, now it would be great, Rodrigo, if you could take this uh, outline and expand it uh, to the work you've been doing, particularly modeling the four tiers. And uh, maybe talk a little bit about your experience putting all of our kits together. Jing Rodrigo is the one who um, put all of the kits together. The one that you took home uh, is Rodrigo's doing. Um, and then um, also- Thank you very much. <laughs> we love this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll put you. it to you soon. <laughs> um, and um, Rodrigo, maybe this, um, maybe you can put this at the end. Um, I don't know how you want to organize it, but these are the points. I suggest. Um, ultimately, Rodrigo, it's up to you, but I registered that you are interested in making the Build It Yourself program accessible in the Mexican market, which means pretty much the rest of the world outside of the US and China, where many families can afford more than they can in other countries. Okay. So I, I really like your focus, Rodrigo. And I was hoping you could talk a little bit about your ideas. How do we make the Build Yourself program accessible to many families in Mexico? Does that make sense, Rodrigo? Uh, yes. It will be very meaningful because we understand that um, in the first session of the conference, there will be an UN representative who's going to give a speech. Um, maybe your part of the presentation will cause his attention. We hope that, though. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So, um, Rodrigo, I know you're going to a UN conference tomorrow. Can you share with Jing so that uh, if she has a chance to um, talk about what you're doing, she'll know your interests. Your, uh, why are you interested in diplomacy and the UN? Yes, well, actually, we arrived to Puebla, our Mexican state, uh, yesterday, and we have been on the models uh, since yesterday, and we will be until tomorrow. Um, these are models organized by uh, a private university in Mexico, and they're kind of the most prestigious in the country. Um, and well, I, I really like diplomacy. I like to investigate the posture of a country um, to defend them. <laughs> but I, I tend to reach to agreements too quickly and the directives tell us to calm down. Great. Rodrigo, may I make a suggestion? When you uh, yes. talk at this conference, what if you start with that? Hi, I'm Rodrigo. I'm really interested in diplomacy because uh, blah, blah, blah. And I have an experience uh, with the United Nations uh, in these programs. And I speak three languages, and um, you know I'm very interested in uh, helping to solve the world's problems or bring the world together. If you could start 
your presentation with comments like that, I think the audience will, um, you know, they'll they'll have a more personal interest. Does that make sense, Jing? Good. Rodrigo, are you comfortable with that? I think so, yes. Okay. I, I just need to practice more. Good. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I'm going to send this PowerPoint to you after the meeting. And uh, if you could just fill in this slide like Jing has done up here, just add the slides that you want to present, and we'll help you fine tune the slides. I would um, maybe add a picture of your of the spreadsheet you made, uh, where we analyze the profitability profitability of building yourself. You don't need to get into the details, but you just want to convince the audience that we have looked deeply into how we can make the build it yourself program uh, self-sustaining. We don't want to make the build it yourself program so that every year we have to get a donation. We want to make the build it yourself program so that it supports itself. That's a, a key goal for build it yourself vision, build it yourself business plan, build business yourself culture. Okay. Uh, yes. Great. Um, Rodrigo, we have, go ahead. Uh, we have until midnight to submit this presentation, right? The presentation we can submit um, later. Yes, you're right. We have time to work on the presentation. No pressure. Well, we have oh. two weeks or so, right? Oh, okay. So I think we have a couple of weeks. We... What, what is what we should submit uh, before midnight? So for tonight, we need to submit this. And I think you're all set. So um, the, the profile. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. Um, I'll send this around and you can comment on it. Um, Jing, I made a few just... Uh, spelling or grammar uh, yeah. edits to this. Not every, I think everything you did, I added what um, uh, Sofia, Rodrigo, and Andy will present. It's only first draft. Uh, I think it's also editable after, even after we upload it. Okay, great, great. Okay, good. So Rodrigo, I modified slightly your um, the sentences you sent to me. Tell me if you're okay with this. Uh, this actually, I was thinking of another sentence, but this is all right. So if you'd like to put something else, it should come from you. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but if you'd like to send me something else, uh, please feel free. Send it both to Jing and to me because Jing is ultimate. Yes. Yeah. Great. Okay, and then I put your website, your personal website down here. This is quite old, but you may, you know, you may want to update your personal website. Oh, can you open the link to, to see what there is? Sure. Oh, uh... uh, that's a good sense. Well, Okay, so yeah, we need to we need to update your. We'll put that on your to do list to update to yeah. update your um your web page. Yes, I I probably need to design that completely. Okay, all right. Well, you know, you're learning how to um you're learning uh, HTML now, so you can update this. You can yes. update this website. Great. Okay, we have, you know, we have time to do this, obviously. But uh, when we upload it, we'll just keep it to this address, and then um, it'll be current by the time it gets posted. 
Okay, Jing, is this um, okay for you? Uh, Jing, your uh, microphone is muted. I said I like it. Okay, great. Great. Okie dokie. Oh, All right. Uh, it says, uh, it says, go let's go to the instead of go right here. Oh, hold on a second. Thank you. Good catch. Oh. Oops. What did I do here? Up left corner. I'll fix this. Uh... Yes. That. Thank you. Kolehi. It is Gia. Uh, with one L. There's one L. Kolehi or Las Hayas. Yes. Good catch. Okay. Grade 10 at Colegio Las Hayas in um, Jalapa, Mexico. And I'm not sure if it would, well, I'm, I'm not sure if I really like to mention specifically United Nations. It sounds a little bit, I don't know, like. You, you tell, I I'll just erase this. And you tell me, um, you tell me what you want to put here. Just send it to me. Give some thought to it. it should come yes. from you. Okay. I think he There's might a... need some time to work on that. Well, okay. think of the best way to describe yourself. I think that I already have uh, what we could put there. Actually, okay. Just send it in, uh, Rodrigo, and keep in mind that um, keep in mind that um, what our goals are. Uh, does you want me to read it right now? Sure. Okay. Well, uh, you changed the sophomore. <laughs> it is better to just write this then. Yep. Um, then I wrote eight years of learning with international students at VIY, now a VIY intern. Uh, uh, I think eight years like of that. planning? Of learning. Of learning, okay. Mm -hmm. With international students at VIY. With international... Arg at uh, BIY, okay. Uh, I, we could write now an intern, like, to show my progress. I am now an intern, okay. Now an intern. I am now an intern, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, I think that I kind of reflect my international like thoughts like that? Um, or do you think that I should mention explicitly diplomacy? Um, Jing, your take on uh, what what is appropriate for, Mod for Rodrigo to write? Say again, Rodrigo, what, what yeah. you're thinking. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, just, uh, I thought that uh, writing and with, working with international students uh, kind of reflects my position on that. But should I write explicitly if I'm interested in diplomacy and uh, debating? Sorry, um, I don't get. I don't. I don't get that. I, am I interested in? I think this is what you're saying. I am yeah, debating. Diplomacy and debate, maybe. And what did you say? Debate. And debate. Oh, debate. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. So instead of instead of this or in addition to that? 
Uh, maybe in addition. Okay, great. I like to analyze conflicts and find viable solutions. I think this is great. Uh, this, yeah, these are your words, right? <laughs> yes. I clipped this right off of your uh, the bio you sent me. Okay. Um, fantastic. All right. We'll submit this tonight. If you want to change it, as Jing said, I think we may have some opportunities to sure. change it down the road, but it's a good, good start. And it's a model for Andy and Sophia uh, to add a personal touch to their bio. Okay. Perfect. Anything else, Jing? Uh, no, not for now. Okay. Great. Um, Rodrigo, thank you for joining. Thank you. I'm going to stop um, the recording. Jing, if you have five minutes, we can just talk about submitting this before midnight. Sure. Okay.